I flew down to Virginia to see Bob Barrows to look at his Bearhawk patrol. The weather over top of the mountains was a little questionable, but it ended up not being a big deal. I was able to split the layers and uh, head in with no issues. Bob's Field is just south of Fincastle, Virginia. The strip is uh, pretty straightforward. It's a little over 2,000 feet with obstructions on either end, so uh, just being trees. When I arrived, Bob was standing there waiting on me, and we got right after it and started to look the patrol over. You know what? Yeah, that's a ro Rotax for you. Yeah. How you doing? I'm Evan. Bob nice to meet you. I like that both windows open. Yeah, it's fly it's good when the windows open, but really it's a fence. You do very good though when you move that uh -huh. blow to your eyes. So, you know, the sun is gonna shine in my back door someday. The cold March wind is gonna Big baggage. Oh, this is lots of room. This plane will carry a big load. That's yeah. Right. It was designed for two, three hundred pound people plus a hundred pounds of baggage. Yeah. And still be within CG. Slide this forward. There we go. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. And the back seat just pops out, it's not even bolted in, it's snapped in place. Uh-huh. So, I mean, you can even sleep in it. Huh. That's cool. I was very impressed with the size of the baggage area. Uh, it's bigger in person than uh, all the pictures that I've seen. I'm sure that uh, the video and these pictures probably won't do it justice. Bob's airplane is uh, very basic, uh, no electric. Uh, of course he hand props it, um, just minimal everything, it's super lightweight, it weighs a little over a thousand pounds, I think he said a thousand fifty. I was pretty impressed with the climb out, uh, takeoff roll, of course was short, but the climb out was really impressive, uh, we were climbing at 80 miles an hour, and it was pretty warm uh, that day, maybe 84 degrees when we took off. So, uh, very, very nice. I was not ready for what was next. Uh, Bob pulled a 3G Yankin bank. I was not prepared for it. In case you missed that, Bob just said that he was impressed by my use of the rudder, uh, just, just so you know. If you've read anything about the patrol or the bear hawk or the LSA bear hawk, um, they slip really well. Uh, this thing drops like a rock even with no flaps in. Here's 
a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, my takeoff and Bob's. Um, I'm moderately loaded, uh, about three-quarters fuel, a little bit of baggage. His airplane had a hard sole constant speed prop. It was something new. It was pretty wicked looking. Uh, I'll try and post some pictures of it somewhere. It pulled really hard against a fixed pitch. I think uh, one fixed pitch they tested was 750 pounds, and his hard sole pulled like 900 or over 900 pounds. Well, that's it. Uh, had a pretty uneventful flight home. Luckily, uh, no no storms. Uh, dodged a few rain showers, but no storms, and uh, had a good good day. I was home by 2:30, so not bad.